it's here a weekend of curly hairstyles with five looks to take you from day to night all with hair accessories from target for autumn inspired looks this season hello this is april with the curl story sharing a new chapter of curly hair styling and i wanted to take you to target with me there was so much to see all of the autumn colors but there are also so many more products that are only available at target.com that I wanted to share with you as well as I was gifted some of these items so I can try them out and share my favorites with you so let's get started with the five weekend looks but first I wanted to show my Friday work updo, which is just a simple French twist with a claw clip. It's a great way to preserve those curls so I can still do any kind of hairstyle I'd like to on Saturday and Sunday. And the first, of course, is a simple headband, which I love for weekend mornings because the headbands just are a statement themselves. You don't really have to do anything else. They're super cute and there are some styling tricks as well. So the first here is I'm showing all of my hair pulled back so I don't have any bangs, but I do have a little bit of hair covering the tops of my ears. And this helps me to have a little bit of hair in front of and behind the bottom of that headband so that the headband just sort of disappears into my hair. You can't see the blunt end of the headband. The next styling tip is to use these hair styling clips to hold back some of the hair and leave some of the face framing either bangs or some fringe forward before putting the headband on. And that allows you to never have to pull hair from underneath the headband to try to bring it forward to create that face framing look because that will just cause frizz by separating those curl clumps and disturbing your curl pattern there. So here I'll show that styling trick again. I'll lift the hair up a little bit more so you can see that it's just the top section that I'm pinning back. I'm still leaving the hair above my ears down. And take a look at this chic little headband. It has a bit of sheen to it. So I love it in this black tone because it can go from a morning brunch all the way to an evening dinner. It matches with just about anything in this neutral color. And it is also available in a dark pink and orange color as well. So the next look is the Weekender with these mini claw clips. Super cute and super useful. I'll link the video here to a full video on the Weekender and all the different style accessory options that there are for this look. But for today's video, this is just a super quick little hairstyle that I've been wearing so often these days because as my hair is getting longer a ponytail or a bun sometimes is just too heavy and this is the most comfortable way to just keep back the hair from my face but still having that hair down and relaxed for any weekend activities. And of course we can't talk about the weekend without including scrunchies in the mix. <laughs> So look number four is a low ponytail with a scrunchie and a mini scrunchie to be exact. So these are really thin and small with a variety of colors and patterns in each pack. And of course I picked the neutral one for our fall inspired looks today. And here's the trick to perfect this super simple look. All you need to do is just tip your chin down to your chest while you're securing that low ponytail so it's as close as possible to the base of your head and your neck and tighten it into place. Then you can fluff out some of the curls to just get that rounded volume from the side profile and from the front if you'd like. And of course since I've been 
doing all these different hairstyles and touching my hair way too much, I do have some flyaways. So I love spraying that down and then just raking it through because I don't want to change the texture or change the curl pattern. I really just want to gently rake in the hairspray just to keep those flyaways down, but it doesn't really change my hair in any way. I still have all the detail, all the curls showing. And the final look is a flirty nighttime hairstyle. There's a casual version with these little alligator clips, which actually didn't work out for me. They were too loose. They're super cute. I loved the color for fall. I love the tortoise shell pattern, but they just didn't hold in my hair very well. So I'm going to experiment a little bit more with these because I really love the look of them, but I might need to wear some bobby pins underneath them and then just using them as a decorative piece. <laughs> so a fancier version of this night look is with these gold and pearl bobby pins. And this is a beautiful way to add that shine, add a little bit of sparkle right near your eye line. That helps to draw attention to your eye. It's perfect for date night. So I'm just picked two of these and I'm just testing out different ways to arrange them. It kind of made it look like a little half headband because the bobby pins do have a slight curve to them so they fit really well along the side of your head. Some tips for using bobby pins are to first hold down the hair taut so press it down and pull your hair back a little bit before putting the bobby pins on and that'll allow you to get a really tight snug fit. You could also hairspray your hair first or put a little dry shampoo poo first to give your hair a little bit more grip and keep those bobby pins from slipping off. So here are all of the five looks with the knotted headband, the padded headband, whether you want your bangs back or out, the weekender, of course, the low pony with their favorite scrunchies, and the date night look. And let me know if any of these looks are some of your favorite weekend hairstyles as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.